Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to some hot shot trucking. We are just getting into California. We're on the coast of California right now. I better slow down. These train tracks don't look too too pleasing. They look kind of rough, actually. Jeez, okay. Actually, it wasn't too bad. So here we are, guys. I got an empty trailer right now. I got an empty load. I'm excited because I'm about to pick something up. So I was on the coast here just finishing up a few miscellaneous deliveries. Um, a few, if I remember correctly. We had actually a lot. So like at one time I had three different shipments going out um somewhere i think there was some welding equipment and then like under underwater welding equipment was the main thing i was carrying and it had like a lot of different pieces so that was kind of fun so i'm on my way now to the coast they said it's like some shipping um like shipping container place kind of i have the address here i, I don't really know but we're heading down there now it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be exciting day so what we're actually picking up we're picking up four yamaha jet skis now these jet skis i there actually might be five i might be wrong i four or five jet skis and we're gonna pick these up and bring them actually relatively close back to where our headquarters are we're bringing them back to iowa okay i might have just been able to take that dirt road but that's fine it's my gps says the place is right here this looks like an elevator like train um oh wait there they are right there this is like a logging place but there's the yamaha four yamaha jet skis they're still in their crates which is super nice don't have to deal okay Authorized vehicles only. Okay, I feel like I'm an authorized vehicle. Right, I'm gonna shoot across these tracks real quick. All right, here we are. We made it. And then let me. Okay, let me pull out the paperwork. All right, it does say four jet skis. And then I'm gonna. I need to go. All right, that kind of looks like a rundown building. There should be a building somewhere where I can go. There's a few cars around here. Might be down there where I have to go talk to somebody about this. But before I go get my paperwork done, here is the four containers. These are pretty big. Fragile, don't drop. Handle with care. I'll try to. There we go. So here's the four. I'm kind of thinking i'll load them up the wide way like facing the truck so just this way instead of the long way i think that will sit a little better but i'm gonna go get the paperwork done i think i can get it done over here and then then we'll see what we gotta do to get her loaded up cool beans we got her done paperwork's all signed something that's pretty funny i've never done this uh really i'm i'm loading myself with these crates so they said yeah just grab the forklift man we don't have anybody nobody on duty or like working was able to drive the forklift which is pretty bad so they said, like, do it. It's not even my forklift. The keys are in it, they said. Okay, there's a train. We got to be careful. Um, I don't think I was supposed to pull in the gate that I did pull into because they seemed a little, like, picky about... They asked me, like, how I got in here. I said, oh, I just went through the main gate, and they didn't. They said they didn't see me, but it's all right. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking I'm going to load them up like this, and I'll put them almost perpendicular to the long way of the trailer, if that makes sense. All right, we'll load this up here. But first time ever actually, like, loading... Usually when I get forklift deliveries, like they have somebody on site, especially things like this, because technically I don't take like responsibility of the shipment until it's actually on my trailer and strapped down. But, oh well, it's not a big deal. Hopefully I don't do anything wrong. All right, so this is the idea. Perfect because like my straps will strap it down just perfectly. These don't weigh that much. Jet skis are, are fairly light. I guess we have the wood with it and stuff, but these are not that heavy. So I'm gonna mostly make sure I have weight on my, there we go on my pickup or I, I want like trailer weight on my pickup so I can control it last thing you want is too much weight like on the back and then it turns into a big old sway swaying uh, setup there we go we'll get another one it would be nice if we could uh, you know undo these take them for a spin but it, it sounds like the manufacturer or something is, is over here and this is where they get delivered and then we're taking these back to a dealership in Iowa which will be kind of fun so we will get those I don't know where the dealership is. It's just back in Iowa. I'll look up that later. Typically, I don't get like these dealership. Like a lot of times, I I've never really seen these kind of loads where I'm actually delivering new product at to a like retail store or to a dealership. So one thing that's pretty interesting. This paid really good, and I think because again, there's such a deadline. There's a, the the dealership needs it right away because spring's coming, and a lot of people are are buying jet skis, and they must have already sold a lot. So. I think it's worth it for them to get in these new uh, these new jet skis. So this is pretty interesting, and we and we got a pretty good bid for it. So I'm gonna get these loaded up. There we go. They're loaded up. I really like that forklift. It was uh, it was pretty nifty and it, it seemed pretty strong. So we got these loaded up. Let me go ahead. We'll get them strapped down. Perfect. Hopefully I can get three straps on most of them. Clean, clean. Cool beans. There she is. It looks good. I think I spaced them out just about perfectly. And of course, fairly easy to strap down. And they're they're like already in boxes. So this is a uh, this is an easy load for Spencer. This isn't bad. This is where we make our money 
and it's literally just about driving now so i it's about an 18 hour drive let me pull it up on google maps real quick here she is this is our route we're going from pacific grove and we'll head north a little bit through sacramento and then we'll jump on i-80 it's a 32 hour 2100 mile trip all the way to walk on power sports here right by mcgregor so this is really nice like i said the dealership that we're going to here is here's the power sports right here then where's McGregor? So, okay, here she is. See, here's McGregor. This is where, this is where our base base is. So it's not gonna be able to take 76 down and uh, and yeah, it, it'll be it'll be perfect. So that is the trip. It's gonna be long. We're gonna uh, obviously have to take two two cracks at it for sure. Um, so we'll we'll stay somewhere, maybe in like Wyoming, maybe stop in Salt Lake City. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Probably traffic is gonna slow us down, but we'll get right to it and let's get going. Yeah. All right, we're shooting on out of here. We're going to head. I think I go, yeah, it looks like I go back the way that I just came. Trying to watch out for traffic. Traffic is really slow around here. You'd think, because, you know, I'm in California, they would be you, they would be going pretty fast. I don't know. It's just kind of what it seems like. But it's um kind of nice being by the coast. I haven't seen the ocean in a while. So it's kind of fun bringing the power stroke out and around here. But I do feel, I, f I feel the jet skis on there just barely. It, it's really like nothing. Um... It's clean. It's obviously not the most air like aerodynamic load, but I mean like what am I what am I complaining about? It's a fairly easy load. So I'm gonna shoot back up the way we came. There we go. There's that train that I was talking about. There she is. That could have just taken me out. So we'll jump on the highway here. We gotta go through Sacramento and then I'll I'll try and get through Salt Lake if we can. Go through Wyoming, Nebraska, all the way into Iowa. It's gonna be a long drive, but like it's pretty early. It's about 9 a.m. when I picked this up, so I was pretty happy with where we... I, I think I can get into uh, into Salt Lake, into, into Utah, hopefully, but we'll see. I got uh, 32 hours to go, 2,100 miles. It'll be fun. I'll listen to a lot of podcasts and stuff, but hotshot trucking, you know, there's a lot of glamour in it, but then when you get down to it, I mean, you're, you're sitting there. You're going to be driving for a way, so I think, I think I have a... Yeah, that's right. I have a bridge coming up. Here it is. So I'll um, I'll see you guys once we are underway. It'll probably be dark, and I'll see you then. Ah, uh, guys, it's five in the morning. We we are just about getting into Iowa. I'm an hour. No, I'm like 45 minutes away from Iowa, and so I'm heading down. And then obviously it's about two and a half, almost a two and a half hour drive to to the actual dealership. So we're in Nebraska right now, and then we'll jump over the river once we get there onto the bridge. But it's it's like five in the morning right now. I I woke up. Well, I woke up at one, well, one o'clock. One o'clock. We we went all the way to North Platte, Nebraska, and so now uh, I'm four hours in, just about getting into Iowa. So yesterday we knocked out so much of it i ran through all my hours i could like legally drive under the law and then i and then i slept a bunch and now we are uh now we're almost there so i will see you guys in like 30 minutes once we get to the bridge there we go guys we're passing the mississippi river mississippi river we're going over the mississippi river here we go here's the bridge so we're officially jumping into iowa and then we got like two hours left, so two, two, two and a half hours left. So that'll be nice. There we go. There's the Mississippi. Our truck looks like a beast, and we're over. Okay, we're still kind of like over the water, but that bridge is. It got to be. It's a little spooky for me, not gonna lie. Yeah, there's the welcome to Iowa sign. So it's a. It'll be a little hilly as we get out of the kind of like the River Valley area, and then I'll we'll just take I eighty right over. And we will be be there in about two and a half hours. So I'll probably just see you guys once we get actually down into the dealership. And then, and then, yeah, it'll be perfect. So that power sports store, they, there, we, we got it. We bidded this up pretty high and we got it pretty good. So things will be, hopefully it'll be easy unloading and they'll be ready to go. Right now it is. So I'll probably get there. Well, I'll get there at right now. It's six, six 30. The sun's up. I'll get there at. Probably around like 839. They should be open. Power sports stores, I know they don't get like they aren't open to customers that early, but these guys should know I'm coming and they needed to buy this afternoon by noon. So I beat the I beat the time by like three hours. And I'll see you guys when I get to the store. Alright guys, here we are. It my phone says it's right up the corner here, so yes, there it is. Okay, there's the power sports and walk on power sports. Here we go. 
I went ahead, I called, like, when I was an hour, I called to make sure they were open, and they are, and so a, a gentleman answered, or, oh, wait, there's somebody right there. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, all right, looks like, all right, there's a forklift right there. Let's, I'm just going to back up. Doesn't really matter. This place is kind of, it's got a small parking lot, but it has so many, they have a lot of stuff outside, so they're getting ready for spring. There's snowmobiles, they still have snowmobiles out. Was it, wait, Bolt, is that you? Yup. You it's own this place? Yeah. I uh, I don't own it, but I part time own it. You you're like, like part time on it? Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, here's your I delivered these down here. Um yeah, no, I didn't know you did this. I, you do a lot of things that we don't know about. You, you every yep. time you show up in a new pickup a truck and then guy. you're a mechanic, you're working on my farm and now you own a power sports dealership? I'm a busy guy. You are a busy guy. Well, uh, I see you got a forklift over there. So if you want here, let me get the paper out paperwork out Just sign off on that. They're delivered properly and stuff Here, yep. I'll, I'll get that for you this Bots it seem fine. So Here's that Should just go fine. ahead and sign just the bottom two. Yeah, it's just two pages sign the bottom two yeah. yeah, I loaded it up didn't have any trouble straps were totally fine never had to none of them ever shook free Yep, perfect. There, there we go. go. Thank yeah. you we go put it back inside so I'll go ahead and unstrap it if you want to unload it for me yeah everything look good though right yeah okay all look, okay all right so we're just gonna unstrap these for him this this should literally take two seconds and then what's really nice is we're right by the border so I'm actually gonna head back home and probably take the day off today and then get some rest and I'll pretty much have it I'll, I'll probably take like a four or five hour nap to catch up on some sleep but this is uh, this one paid good. This one paid it really good. I don't think they have. It looks like they're still. I'll talk to Bold about it. But it looks like they're still trying to get rid of their their snowmobiles. I don't think those are going to be selling anytime soon. All right. Seems like he's pretty good. I, I might. He's he looks like he's a pretty good forklift driver. But I he has, he does have some sea dews over there. But literally all he has is two out. So it's smart that he's getting these four in. I'm sure he has more shipments coming. But like honestly, that would make sense. I'll talk to him more about it. Why? Why he ordered from me, but here we go. Cool, cool. Yeah, this place is kind of small. It's really interesting. It's got like a uh, kind of like a farm vibe to it with the shed, but still like a lot of nice equipment out here. Pretty cool place. Cool, cool. There we go. He's got them unloaded. Nice, nice. This place is, uh, yeah, this place is pretty cool. There's, oh man, how come you needed, I see you have a bunch of snowmobiles and sleds out there and you only got two jet skis. Oh, uh, are you guys like on back order or something? Those stone bills, I'm trying to sell, but no one wants to buy them. And well, spring. yeah, it's springtime, man. It's yeah. Nice out. So where are you? Where are all the jet skis? They just haven't came, so I needed you. Guess a truck broke down or something like that. Gotcha. Man. Yeah. No, I saw this bid and I was like, wait, why would they only want four? And then like, usually you don't see, usually like you don't see new products getting shipped through hot shop trucking like new products as yeah. in like to a dealership so there are more coming to just yeah i need you need these four for sure no that that's, that's exactly what i thought and then i saw the timetable it was a 34 hour 2100 mile trip for me and it said they wanted it done in two days so like i knew that yeah. was uh i knew it was gonna pay good so i'll give you a great deal for this home bills Ooh. all five for the same price at normal price uh, I'm not looking for snowmobiles right now, but, uh, yeah, great deal. I got to so. head out, boy. I got to head out, man. I can't keep the snowmobiles though. Man, I don't want, I don't want snowmobiles, but thanks for, uh, thanks for having the ship, man. But I will see you next time, man. Got it. All right, guys. We're, that's going to wrap up today's episode. We got our shipment in all the way from California to back to Iowa. And of course, Bolt's the one who owns the dealership. So thank you guys so much for watching. He was trying to sell me those slides. I, I don't want them. I already have snowmobiles. So. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy Hot Shot Trucking, hit the like button. More FSN Network, uh, Farm Sim Network videos coming in the future too if you guys are interested on those. I love making them. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.